Welcome to this week's Drill of the Week. Uh, um, my favorite drill of all time. If, I, I call it my desert island drill. If I was this stranded on a desert island and had one goal and one player and we could do one go, uh, drill for the rest of our lives uh, in player development, this would be the shooting drill we'd choose. This builds toughness, it builds stamina, and it requires consistent shooting, not streaky shooting. So again, nothing fancy in the format, but the sauce, the secret sauce in this drill is how you record it uh, and how it is, how competitive and how it translates to game situations. What we do in 32 shooting is from our game shots, we're gonna get a layup, a two, and a three point attempt from five different spots. Our spots will be the corner, the 45 degree angle that we get a ton of shots from, the top, and then the opposite corner and the opposite 45. And to simulate game speed, you'll see that we put 10 minutes on the game clock. So 10 minutes on the game clock to complete five rounds. And we start each round on the two minute marks. So first round will start on eight. The second round will start when that clock hits eight. Six will be the third round. The fourth round will start at four. And the fifth round will start when we're down to our final two minutes. So what you see here sometimes is a little strategy among your players. The harder they go, the more rest time they will have in between the rounds. Or if they pace themselves a little slower on the shots, they're not gonna have as much rest time. So you'll find kids, they always try several different strategies. But what we're counting here is the number of shots or the number of points made. A layup is worth one point, the two point shot is worth two, and the three point shot is worth three points. So each one of the spots has a value of six points. Now you math majors and math teachers out there are going, okay, that's 30 points, coach. How do you get the other two? So as soon as they shoot the last shot on their last round of each one of the rounds, they're gonna to come to the foul line for a one plus one. Even though we don't have the bonus of one and one in college basketball anymore, we still ask them to shoot the one and one for a little bit of pressure to get that second shot. So a total of 32 points for each round. So let's score Mal here on her first round. When you catch it, you've got one dribble to get the layup and then one dribble to get your 15 footer. So on the pass, Mal's got one dribble to score. So she's got one. She'll clear behind the three point line, 15 footer. She's got three points now, six. So that's a perfect spot. Let's see how she does at spot two. Lay up, one good hard dribble. Got to be explosive to get there in one dribble. 15 footer, she's got one. She's got three. She's got six again. So she's perfect through two spots. Hard drive, one. You'll be surprised how many times that shot gets missed. Three. So she's got three points here. 15 total. Miss the layup. Those are crush. Those crush you. Tough spot. This is a big shot. She stays in it. We got three here. Drive. Make for one. Three. And you can see she's not very happy about it. So we got 21, 22, 23. Okay, so free throws become big. So notice how much time she's got left. 37 seconds to catch her breath and get ready to start round two. Hey, rather than take you through the, the last eight minutes of this, we'll just show you the scores that Mal got. She dropped off a little here in second round and she got 20, uh, 18. In her third round, she got 26. Then she got tough, she got a 24, and she finished with a 26 for a total of 117. If you divide that by the, the five rounds, you come up with an average of 23.4. So just barely under a yellow light shoot. Again, this is one where Mal's gonna say, I wanna do it again. She wants to replace which score? That one right there, obviously, is the one she's gonna try to replace. If you're feeling generous as a coach, uh, sometimes like we did in the classroom with our kids, we'll let them drop the low score and redo it. 
rather than have to go back and, and redo the entire set of 10. But this is the type of goal that you're shooting for. 25 will get you green lit. And that's a really hard thing to average over the course of five. Our all time high through an average of five is 28 by Kelsey Plum. Um, we've had some individual scores for the perfect 32 in there as well. And anytime a kid gets a perfect 32 during our 10, sh our 10 minute shooting, uh, we come up with these little block letters that we set in their locker that had the number 32 on them. Uh, very few of those have occurred over the 20 years I've been doing this drill. So in 10 minutes, every two minutes, starting the cycle over again, looking for an average of above 24 to be yellow lit, 25 to get your green light, 28 to be the all-time high.